You ask yourself, what has just happened? Was the rapture real? Info for the left behind. Rima from May 12, 2020. From Claire Dubois' ebook Tethered. Spoken by Jackie. Claire began, we are so sorry. We just wish we could have told you. We just wish you could have known somehow. We wish you had listened. We wish you could have cared. We wish you could have known. We are so sorry, but we had to go. We wish we could have seen you more, have been with you more, given you more, and now you have to face the most horrible, terrible times that have ever come upon this earth. You sadly didn't believe us, but now it's happened, and everything else is coming. Just like the scriptures say, the Bible is true. Do not doubt that, ever. There is one way still to escape the worst. Turn to Jesus now, while you can. It seems to make no sense, but the things of God really do because his mind is so much higher than ours. You can't do this anymore on your own. Only he knows everything. Only he can save you. He made you. He made you because he loves you. He's the only one that ever can or ever will love you completely and unconditionally. He knows everything that is really good for you and everything that's going to hurt you and he knows what will surely kill you. All he wants is for you to be happy, to be protected, to be free, truly free, to become so completely happy and fulfilled. It's all been prepared for you. He's been waiting, waiting to help you, to keep you from being trapped in the most terrifying place of horror and torture in hell. Yes, hell is real. God did not set it up for you. You were not made to dwell there ever. You were made for a place where you'll never be hurting or lonely, tired or hungry, with absolutely no such thing as pain, only to be more happy and forever young and free than even you could ever imagine forever. It's your choice, it's all in your hands, now, to live or to die, to suffer forever worse and worse, or to be guaranteed to be so awesomely happy, loved and protected forever. This is all we can ask of you now. Please tell Jesus you're sorry and ask him to come and take over your life now. Give it to him. He will run to save you. We have put his messages for you on our website, jesus-comes.com. Below this video, you find a link to the ebook. He gives instructions on how to follow him and live through these next seven years of tribulation. If you turn to him now, he will keep you safe, guide you and protect you. He will teach you everything you need to know, where to go, how to live, how to evade the enemy. He will provide you with food and clothing and medicines or healing if you will only trust him with your whole heart now. Finally, we want to warn you now. Whatever you do, do not take the mark of the beast. Do not allow injections, a chip or anything else into your body in order to buy food or to sell or to pay something. If you take this chip into your body, it will be impossible for you to turn to God because they will be able to control your mind. This is no conspiracy theory talk. It is no religious talk. It is very real. Please, take it seriously. 
What has just happened? Was the rapture real? If you read or watch this information on the website, on YouTube, or in an ebook after Jesus himself appeared in the skies, now is the time that you must make the decision what the truth is. Jesus warned the world through his prophets that this would happen for centuries. He has been giving us signs in the heavens, the earth, the weather, the animal die-offs, the tsunamis, volcanoes and earthquakes for years, all growing in intensity and closeness in occurrence. Jesus began, I've told you that all men will see me coming on the clouds of heaven. All men means all men. It will not be hidden. No, I intend to see my people weep for having rejected me. Does it not say all tribes of earth shall mourn? Now he has finally come in what has been commonly called the rapture. The purpose of the rapture was to remove all those who truly loved him and lived for him and to keep them safe in heaven, away from the coming disasters. Now the wrath of God against the sin that pervades the earth has started. You can read about it all in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, about all of the seal, bowl and trumpet judgments that will come on the earth over the next seven years. Jesus continued, It is my deliberate intention that my people know who I am. Without this knowledge, they will not be able to repent. When they see me, they shall be struck to the very marrow of their bones, in remorse for their sinful rejection of me. I will be seen during the rapture. I will not set foot on the earth, but I will be seen. My people will weep and mourn for having rejected me. They will be left behind as the Gentiles are taken to heaven. Then all hell will break loose on the earth. That will be the beginning of the tribulation. I assure you, Satan will waste no time in implementing his evil schemes and bringing the Antichrist to power. The earth will reel like a drunkard. Not only will the accelerator, CERN, upset the magnetic arrangement of the earth poles, it shall inevitably affect the planets along with the close approach of Nibiru and asteroids. Did I not say all hell will break loose? It is intended that all of these things happen in close proximity. The judgment of this earth will happen with great intensity. As much as I love them, the Jewish people are by no means innocent of greed and manipulation. The judgment for them will accomplish a twofold purpose. Their rejection of me and their manipulation in business dealings with careless abandon for the covenant I established with them and that they should be responsible for the blood of the creatures of this earth. They are culpable in this matter, extremely culpable. This is another of the reasons they are here for the judgment. They must sleep in the bed they have made. What Jesus wants you to know from him Jesus began, I'm calling out to you, speaking comfort to your heart. I've not left you, nor will I ever leave or forsake you. I know acutely the terrible loss you feel. At times, even a sense of betrayal overtakes you. All your questions of why and where, and why am I still here, and why was I left behind, and what am I ever to do now? You must resist the temptations to simply dive back out into the world and get very busy and to take advantage now of so many so-called 
new and exciting opportunities and careers due to the mass vacancies in every aspect of industry, business and all around money ventures. No, even in your pain and bewilderment, draw back from these things, pull back away from your unstable world and seek me with all your heart ten times the more strongly come up to me in true repentance and a sincere change of heart and I will help you, I will calm your fears and welcome you back with open arms. You are not lost. In the coming days you will see more and more just how much I still truly love you. If a mother forsakes a child, I will not abandon you. I am forever here to save you. You are still my child, so very, very precious and cherished by me. You are still my treasure, and I am with you, even now. The question burning in your mind, but why, oh my Lord, why? Why, why was I left behind? My child, you were never meant to be excluded from the rapture. It was my merciful provision for all of my children, indeed my church, my body, my bride. You were to be part of the evacuation that took place, to keep you from having to live in and witness the most terrible time of suffering upon the earth that has ever been or ever will be. You began well. However, in time you began to become more and more entrenched in the world. Though still a Christian in name and affiliation, you began to draw more and more away, often to many distractions in past times. The time we used to share became less and less. You knew that you were beginning to compromise more and more with the world over your faith and so you stopped speaking to me. That combined with your new relationships and your new liberal ways of thinking caused you to begin looking at other souls around you and judging them. You began to look down on them and the things that they held dear, even going as far as holding in scorn and contempt the joy they expressed at the nearness of my coming. And by the time I arrived, all you could do was stand in fear and shame for the very thing you were destined to believe and be a part of, which had just happened right in front of you, because you did not believe and you did not watch and pray, and I came as a thief in the night, and you were not prepared. I could not take you. You ask of me, what now? Stay close, stay ever so close to me now. Pray for the grace to have me always in your heart and mind, my name ever on your tongue. You must hold tightly to the hem of my garment and never for a second let me go again. Develop the habit of thanking me always and everywhere. Have me ever before your mind's eye. This you must pray for also, and I will give it. I am with you already as it is, but you need to be able to sense me, feel me, and interact with me, speaking to me always as your most trusted friend. I am keenly interested in your every thought and feeling, so long as you strive to stay lowly and humble. Being very little in your own eyes, I will forever be your most trusted friend and confidant. Nothing draws me closer than very small and childlike souls. I stay closer to them than their own skin, and I will be with you. I know that you are still in a great state of bewilderment, and the rest of the world around you is in a terrible state of disarray. But I also know that you are already beginning to feel an inexplicable, supernatural peace and calm within. 
I will continue to give you this gift and you will be able to think and reason with remarkable clarity. Do not worry about your needs. As you can see, I've provided for you in every way. People will continue to give to you everything that you will need, seemingly out of the blue, and you will quickly begin to experience just how truly beautiful a real life of faith is, even through these extraordinary circumstances. Nothing is out of my control and nothing is allowed without my consent. I have made every provision for you ahead of time. You have no need to be anxious at all. Only keep your heart and eyes on me. You are my precious, precious child, and I will not allow anyone or anything to harm you. I have set my angel all around you to watch over you day and night. Not only will you be provided for, but you will know my loving care and the surety of my faithfulness as I bring an overabundance to provide for others. You will begin to meet others who, like you, have repented as well and through their own brokenness have been fully restored in profound humility and whose hearts are solely for me and the kingdom of God alone. I will gather again my people, as a mother her little children, and I will bring them through this time of trial and testing victoriously. They will shine like the stars in the firmament of heaven, twice refined. They will rule and reign with me as they have persevered and come through gloriously through the time of tribulation.